Well, hello. Just shift this out of the way. We are live and I am having some lunch. Just see what I do with the screen here. Okay. Just a second while I fix what I did wrong. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I can see chats today. So, hello, my person who showed up. <laughs> um, the first order of business is to get shorter. No, is to eat my lunch. But I also have some news. Hey, Janin. Hey, Babette. Guess what this means? Okay, Babette, go put out the chickens and come right back. <laughs> I'll wait for your guests while I eat my lunch. Everybody go get a snack. Time got away from me this morning. If I get food in my teeth, please do. Oh my God. If I get food in my teeth, you go ahead and tell me, okay? It's nothing unusual. So, I am very happy that I had some success yesterday at the studio. At first, things started to go sideways again. And I mean, literally sideways. I mean, um, I was using a different clay and it was a little bit wetter than the clay that I started learning to throw on. And it was way harder to control. So I'm definitely gonna go buy more clay that's called Phoenix. And that's what I'm gonna use for throwing until I can get a hold of this dark, there's this dark brown clay that they sell in Dallas. I know, right? Almost 100,000 views, isn't that cool? I like how you spell views there, that's creative. <laughs> I never know if it's how you actually spell something over there in um, Belgium. What's the native language of Belgium? Belgian? Or is that a dialect? Do chime in because it must be so exciting watching me eat my lunch. Well, this morning, I wore myself out redoing reclaimed clay. Flemish, duh. I'm sure I knew that at some point in my life, but a lot of things have left the building. A lot of uh, knowledge has left the building. So um, this morning I found this clay and I beat it up really bad and I sealed it airtight with my, uh, my info on it in case I ever take it down to the studio so they know who it belongs to. And um, <clears throat> of course I forgot a piece of it, so I had to do it in separate, two separate packages. But this way, hopefully, it will keep this clay nice and fresh until I get around to using it. It was really fun to um, shrink wrap. This is, um, oh my gosh, you can see, I can see moisture like moving around in it when I wiggle that. You see that right here? little bubbles um what's that thing called again oh the food saver dutch flemish french and german then where did you learn to speak english danny because um pretty freaking fluent in english and do you speak dutch flemish french and german Is the bet? How long does it take to let out the chickens, Babette? Okay, so what I'm currently reading is a book I started. It has expert tips from the American Red Cross, the U.S. Army, 
the Boy Scouts of America and the Girl Scouts of the USA, which is the same place. Okay. Um, survival info for six environments on preparation, shelter, food, water, fire, navigation, signaling, hazards, and first aid. This is the book that taught me, I think, how to set the two sticks in the ground so you can see um, over 20 minutes uh, what direction the sun moves, and therefore you would be able to, it's like basically a physical sundial or a compass, shows you exactly which way north is, so in case you need to head home, base it on that. Um, at home safety, eight different natural disasters, tornadoes, and I need to reread that section, of course. Hurricanes, earthquakes, and wildfires. You know, we had an earthquake a couple of years ago uh, when I lived in my last house, and I, all I heard was a boom. Something fell in the garage. I didn't feel the round shake or anything. But apparently the earthquake was in Oklahoma, it was a couple hours away from here, but we still felt a little. Oklahoma, uh, they believe that the reason why Oklahoma is now having more earthquakes than California is because um, of natural gas drilling. And, you know, I don't know which side of the fence we're on that, but Texas and Oklahoma are big natural gas drillers. So there could be an earthquake at. Okay, let's see what Danny, Danny says. He learned English from about the age of seven. He speaks German. And. A très petite, waiter, français, or something. I don't know. I kind of almost failed French class. I had to have a tutor all through college in French class. So this is exciting. Do you think it's going to be today? We should celebrate when I get 100,000 views. Yeah, I know it means a little bit French, but I didn't. I don't know how to say it. I can't hear you. What? What? <laughs> okay. So, at what point should I stop eating in your face? And oh, this is so good, though. I should start working. Hey, Grant! Thanks for showing up. I'm about to. Uh, I'm about to get to work here. I was, oh, but another thing. Okay, Danny, I have a, I have a test for you. Are you ready? It's very important. See, this is my, <laughs> it's my super liberal blanket. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, ready? We're gonna test the sound. I have a theory. Okay, let's see. Does this look awesome? How is the, uh, whoops, hang on. How is the sound now? <laughs> is it better? Testing, one, two, three, four. All right. <laughs> okay, just a goofball. All right. Tell me if that sound sounded better. I need a room that's not as, uh, I mean, there's just no, there's no floor. Um, I gotta go to work. Boo! Okay. Well, so do I. There's no carpeting in here, and ha! We should we should definitely do my live stream in a uh, under it under a tent. Should I build a tent in the living room? <laughs> it's a little rainy outside, and I don't want to get wet. Oh, another thing. Let me just pull up the. Uh, this other window here for a second. Okay, ready? I finished my other one. So now I have two. Okay, for those of you who don't know, those are handmade shoes. They are made of leather, string, and yoga mat, and a little bit, a tiny bit of metal. There you have. Okay, so when Princess Paravanu said she wanted a berry bowl, we had the discussion that um, she wants me to paint a design on it, which she wants strawberries. Well, 
I can do the strawberry painting and get a nice detailed painting if I do it low fire. And a low fire clay, is, it's, it just it uh, glassifies at a different temperature, like maybe 1800 or 1900 degrees. That clay will be as strong as that clay can get. Now, the clay that I did in my outside kiln, uh, like this little salt, a salt, I don't know what you call it. I put salt in it and I use it for cooking. Now that one um, is super low fire. It's not very durable and it's, you know, just backyard clay. And I fired it outside with, with wood in my fire pit that I built like that primitive technology guy. So <laughs> I have a little garden shed, but my Wi-Fi doesn't extend out there. I need to get a Wi-Fi blaster. Feel free to um, buy me one. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, lately I've been considering that I probably, I might have to get a job come fall, if not sooner, uh, which I would hate to do because it's summer break, and um, today is the last day of school for, for my kid, and um, so, you know, I just don't want to go to work over the summer, and I have no money for anything, but, uh, you know, everybody's in the same situation. <laughs> except my friends who are all rich. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's just this, this, so anyway, I don't really, I can't really afford to make the changes that I probably would help, like perhaps having like a better microphone, um, that would help, but um, let's get down here a little bit. Yeah, so I'm just not going to be able to make any major changes right now. I would love, last night, Danny recommended to me to um, do a, buy hay bales and put them in a square or shape or whatever, fill it, fill the center with dirt and to do a garden with deep soil in it. And that is a fabulous idea. Um, unfortunately, I can't do that right now. Yeah, I would love to do that. Yeah, we just don't really have much soil here. What we do have is clay and, um, you know, a little bit of soil, enough that they brought in to uh, put the house on, you know, to, with a little yard around it. So we brought in two dump truck loads of dirt so far for the current gardens, and that's pretty expensive. What did I tell you? It was like $200, $250 or something per dump truck load. And so you have to space those things out as you're building a whole homestead. And so this is gonna be the base of the bowl. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it, first I'm gonna build the bowl. Wouldn't it be cute if the bowl had little legs on it? Well, hey Silver Gator, uh, everybody's working today. Boo, there's no working. I did put, I threw the blanket on the floor, so maybe the sound would bounce around a little less. Also, I could try not shouting. Would that be better? Should I whisper? <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe we'll, because I should take the opportunity, um, since I'm not throwing this bowl on the wheel. Oh, crap. I forgot to tell you the rest about the, um, why the low fire clay. Okay. Oh, and then Wilhelm said to me, hey, Julie, why don't you make me a bowl with the Wizard of Oz characters running around the outside of the bowl? Well, first of all, extremely difficult drawing um, to do. If it was a huge bowl, the drawing would be easier to do. But, um, you know, you have a spare $2,000 for me to spend hand building a, a giant bowl? Probably not. So um, it, that could also be low fire. And then if it fails, oh, my God, you know how much work that is? Like sometimes despite everything that you try to do to build the perfect you know object you can have failures okay the other thing the reason for the low fire clay is because you can do a nice detail i can do i don't know how the people who do porcelain get those beautiful detailed uh i think they stencil them on they use very little uh, glaze so the glaze doesn't run and um they're beautiful but i don't know how to do that and um Therefore, I'm just, the when I do high fire, I don't get the quality. I get a more runny thing with the colors. The colors aren't as vivid as I want. 
So I said to uh, Princess that I would, I could do this out of low fire, but I'm not allowed to fire low fire clay down at the studio. I'm not even allowed to bring this, this clay. You're not allowed to bring low fire clay into the studio at all. <laughs> okay, remember me when you win the lottery, Danny. <laughs> Danny wants to know if I can convert part of my garage into a studio. Um, part of my garage is a studio right now. It's just, um, this is Texas. We have two temperatures, hot and hotter. And I do have air conditioning unit for the garage, but it ha I would have to build walls in there. Also, uh, back to the lottery thing about building walls to, to separate the room. It would really make the room a lot smaller if I built a studio space into the garage. So, because we've had this discussion before here. I do have the shed and the shed, I need a Wi-Fi blaster. So, just have that Wi-Fi blaster shipped to my P.O. box. Thank you very much. Um, Babette, you make your own dirt, it's called compost. Well, so do we. Um, but we're not making, there's no way. Listen, Wilhelm. We were just talking about you. You'll have to go back and watch the beginning again. But if I know you, you watch the whole thing again. <laughs> um, there's no way to, for me at this current stage, to do like people running around the bull. Because first of all, I just don't feel like my my drawing skills are are where it where that, and it just doesn't seem like much fun to me. So. Uh, let's not do that idea. Um, I would love to make you something, but I want to make you something that I feel will come out really good. And that's just, I mean, I could, I can draw, I can draw, but drawing is okay. If you wanted it on a piece of paper, that's one thing, but you want now drawing onto a piece of ceramic, you're, it's a whole nother level of difficulty with the, with the pottery. So, I'm doing simple little strawberries on this bowl and that they're flat. They're not running. They don't have, they're not going to have legs. Princess, they're not having legs. Um, and so there, okay. So I'm really quickly like just going to throw this bowl together. And I really, I think I want the bowl itself to have legs though. Oh yeah. Um, I'm so sorry that the sound quality bothers you so badly. <laughs> it's driving you crazy. Maybe you should just wear earmuffs when you're listening to it. <laughs> okay, so I have this water and I think now it's time for the little turntable. Okay. If I don't get this too wet, it won't stick to the turntable too much. But maybe I should just set it up on a little piece of wood. There we go. Okay. Uh, duh, it'll stick to the piece of wood. The floor, the floor is too thin, so I'm going to patch that a little bit before I go any further. I need tools. All my tools are behind the screen right now okay massive handful of tools there we go this one will work it's got a hooky thing on it so yeah just chill on the sound quality for a little bit I'll get it figured out eventually. I mean, I really know. I know I need a new mic. That's the answer. I wouldn't want to hang like curtains and do all this craziness just to have a, just to have a better sound quality when you could just get a microphone. The sound was richer under the rainbow. Oh. Seriously, I can't work under the rainbow. Here, we'll give you a rainbow cover on you. Let's see if the sound bounces a little better. Is that any better? Up, oh, I can't see anything. Up, oh, now you can't see anything. All right, is that any better? Testing. 
Okay, good. Okay, I need one. Okay, guys, commercial time. Don't you think we can get this over 100,000 today? We need 43 more views, right? Did I have 44, 43? Whatever, one of those. My math's not that good. Also, don't care. <laughs> Is that gonna bug you? I left the drawer open. <laughs> All right. So, uh, have we seen your garden shed? Yeah. Do you want to see it? Look, it's gray with the white trim, and the, it's always in the background when I'm outside. See? See out the window? Here we go. See it? Isn't it cute? Okay, sorry, there's a reflection on the, there's a big pile of sticks. We uh, we cut a bunch of the tree down that was covering up the garden. And there you have it. Okay, back to work. Hi, Mike. Oh wait, did you say the sound was better with this on it? Because I can totally put a blanket over the area where the uh, camera is and the mic. I don't know where the mic is on the steel, but if it buffers the sound on the way in. Is that better? It might be a little darker now. I've blocked some of the light. Ah, okay. I'm just making the floor thicker before I start building up the walls. This shouldn't take absolutely forever, but the... Uh, the detail on the painting. That'll be a little slow. Hey, that worked. That's like the simplest solution ever, just to have that blanket there. I guess it's like, um, just grabbing some of those sound waves. Okay, gotta score it. For some reason, scoring it either prevents air bubbles or makes it stick better, or a little bow. It might push the air out while you're pushing down the next, the new piece of clay. So I learned a lot at the studio on the day I made mistakes. And yesterday I made three objects. Can you count to three? A big pile of what? Oh, we made a big pile of sticks um, this weekend, taking, taking out the branches that were shading the garden. The tomatoes look really crappy in the garden. In the lower garden, the bigger gar in the big garden, the tomatoes look great. There's tomatoes all over them. So big pile of what? There you have it. Sticks, twigs. We got to have a little bonfire. Well, we've been talking about getting a wood chipper, and we're gonna um, we're gonna want to buy that with a, a, some friends who are also doing kind of like what we're doing here. They have bees. And um, they have the beehive where you put the jar under and you turn the thing and the, the wax cracks open and it, and it comes down. If you notice I'm wearing my t-shirt inside out, I just want you to know that I'm doing um, – yes, this, this – uh, oh, I don't, I don't want to advertise for the company that is on my t-shirt, so I'm wearing my t-shirt inside out. Yes, I do have a compost bin. and. Um, I throw a lot of scraps into the chicken yard, and then I because every every couple of months I'll like rake up the chicken yard and throw it in a pile, and um, the chickens love it when you rake their yard because then they want to dig through whatever you raked up. They they have a lot of fun with that, but the compost bin is pretty effective because it's so dry here that you really need that moisture inside the compost bin for the for the stuff to break down and question here's a question uh the dark clay this this kind of dark clay is low fire the dark clay that i want to buy is a cone six um, but that's all the way in dallas and i hate to drive to dallas dallas drivers are the biggest bunch of a-holes you have ever run into they, well i mean you know California probably has a similar group of drivers, but in Texas, you don't really find drivers nearly as bad as the, as the Dallas drivers. 
A, they're probably all people from somewhere else, so they take their driving skills with them here from other places, and then they, uh, you know, are just rude. They don't want to let you, when you're trying to get out of, <clears throat> when you're trying to exit or something, they don't want to let you over. When you're trying to get on, they don't want to let you in. Guys, turn their in. Wait a minute. Wait, how many of you guys actually turn your underwear inside out? And why? Is it because you don't want to show the brand name? Or are you saying that it's disgusting, your underwear is dirty, so you just turn it inside out so you don't have to do more laundry? Because that is nasty. I don't want to judge, but that's nasty. <laughs> I was searching. I was um, searching something online yesterday about something cheap, and this cheap woman came up, and it was like extreme cheap skates, and it said the woman doesn't do laundry. And I was thinking, how do you? What? Do you, what? <laughs> she doesn't. She to save money, she doesn't do laundry. How do you not do laundry? You can't just like buy new clothes when your clothes get dirty. Does she not do anything dirty? Because, I mean, if you eliminate all your hobbies, that's probably pretty cheap, too. Also, eliminating eating. Yes. Um, Forest Beck Roads is good medicine. <laughs> so is laughter. So have a good laugh today. Sometimes I'll just, like, put on comedy, comedy videos and stuff online just because I need it, you know, I need to have a good laugh. Usually when the, there's no kids around because comedy, for some reason, the funniest comedy is always shocking and it's got a little, you know, there's language and um, suggestive discussion, <laughs> which I find amusing, except for when you guys do it. Um, <laughs> okay, here we go. I just really needed to thicken up that floor, give, it, give, give the bowl some support. Now this edge will go away eventually, but for right now, using it as a to support the walls. Because later on I'll go. Ee! It's just not the clay's not really um, strong enough right now to support what I'm about to do to it. So I'm going to leave that there. Meaning I'm going to go higher on the walls. And when you go higher on the walls, you need that. You need some support down here. Okay. I have a face again. See? Okay, so in the plans, yesterday, hubby says, you know what I'd like to do? And I said, uh-huh, what? And he's like, I just want to turn the whole backyard into garden. He wants to do areas of food, flowers, food, flowers, like that. And um, it's a pretty cool idea. And I said, well, you know, we're just gonna have to do it in stages. <laughs> Pray for an EMP, no more driving. Oh my gosh, do you know how many people don't know what an EMP is? And they don't even, they don't even have a, a moment to think about what life would be like if everything changed. Okay, see you later, Glenn. Um, Happy, happy, happy. Yay. Um, very cute. So, um, yeah, people don't think about what life would be like if they didn't have their electronics anymore. But this summer, I'm definitely going to be spending more time away from the electronics. I'm going to spend more time outdoors. I'm going to exercise some more. My, I'm going to put air in my bike tires and get my bike out. And I'm starting tomorrow if it's not raining first thing in the morning. Otherwise, it could be back to yoga. Yes, um, and you know, eventually we're just gonna have to get those bees. <laughs> the beehive isn't painted yet. That's another project that we need for summer with the $5 mint paint that we were able to score at the hardware store. It's getting a little bigger. Um, yeah. So, what do you think? Do you think we're gonna? Do you think we're gonna make the hundred thousand views today, or maybe it'll be tomorrow? I don't remember how many daily views I got. 
So I ordered this thing on Amazon. And the picture, it was silver. It's a good thing I'm a girl because I don't mind pink. I think pink's cute. But I did. I was mad that it came with stickers all over it, which means that they bought it at some kind of discount place and then marked it up and sold it to me, which is fine because I just couldn't. I was having trouble finding a nice uh, metal spray bottle. I you know, just didn't want to buy plastic. It was right after watching that uh, plastics documentary, which really got my got me annoyed. Annoyed with us as people that like while we're working at companies, we're not saying, "Hey." cut down on the use of plastic in our products. Why aren't people in corporations like demanding that product packaging not be plastic or be a bio biodegradable kind of plastic, like the stuff that they make out of um, corn something or other. There's a clear plastic they make out of corn, biodegrades much quicker. You know, I have to say that this pink falls in the range between pink and purple. I would say maybe it's a magenta. Magenta is a, you know. My husband and I argue over colors a lot. And then I figured out, I took a test, I can see more colors than he can. Have you seen those um, tests online where you see how many colors you can? <laughs> okay, yeah, he just sent me a test because, um, he said he's there's this cow locally and we call it Oreo. I don't know what its real name is, but the cow looks like a freaking Oreo. It's black with white center and then black. I mean that's the whole cow. The center part from the shoulders to the hips is a stripe, a perfect stripe of white. I would love to have that cow. I would kiss that cow. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyway, this morning my son says, That cow. Uh he goes, there's a baby white cow in there. It's not a baby white cow. My husband just drove by and said it's a llama. But my husband can't tell the difference between alpaca and a llama. So they're not the same. Llamas are weird looking. Llamas have like a really weird long body and, you know, they're similar, but they're not the same. Okay. I know. I'm... I'm glad, okay, so we had electronics and there were video games to play, but I just, I just never got into it. It's just some kids, some kids love it, some kids don't. I do not watch Breaking Bad. Um, I was fascinated with purple in college, however. You say some, some one of the characters is fascinated with purple. Um, yeah, I played a lot outside, but I never really loved, I never really knew that I loved outside until I moved to this property about a year and a half ago, I think. I used to just spend all my time indoors. And um, as a kid, okay, when I was in like, as a kid, I'd run around with my friends and we'd go outside and ride bikes and run around and I mean, because that's what you do when you're a kid. Your mom says, get out of the house and go. And there was a pond and there was, um, we all had bikes and we used to ride around. And that was our, that was our sense of freedom. That's how we got together with our friends. Kids now get together with their friends on a computer sometimes. And so it's hard to say that it's, it's not like that. It's always a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing, but a lot of times they overdo it and they don't know what, how to make limits for themselves and you have to say, listen, you're limited on your screen time. This is how much screen time you're allowed to have. And um, everybody's got a different tolerance for how much screen time their kid can have. Um, and uh, there have been times when, I haven't, when I've been too tolerant and I've had to then draw the line and go, look, you have to have other things in your life that, that make your life interesting. You're not gonna spend your life being a dork playing video games indoors all the time. You know, and that I just um, just bugs me. And um, sometimes I got to put my foot down more than I do. And, I'm, you know, parenting is hard. And. Um, yeah, the best thing for your insides is getting outside. That's a good point. Um, so so like I used to get out and then. I, then I lived by the beach and then I loved to get out by the beach. You know, I would ride my bike down to the beach because it was easier than parking the car. 
and um, I worked by the beach and I just loved to lay out and go swimming in the ocean and that kind of thing. And I didn't consider myself outdoorsy. I mean, everyone goes out there and goes to the beach and that's, you know, it's, that's not, that's not what I thought outdoorsy meant, you know, like those people that sign that says I'm outdoorsy if drinking wine on the patio is outdoorsy. Yes, I did. Um, okay. I lived in Florida too, Mike. So I lived, um, I lived in Naples, Florida for a while and I was within biking distance of the Gulf coast of Florida. And that was a very, I need, this bowl needs to start going up instead of out. It just keeps, you know, clay just wants to go out all the time. So you have to keep forcing it up. Even it's funny cause it's even on the, on the wheel or on this little um, turntable. I have to constantly like remind myself I'm going up. So the next coil can't be exactly on top of the first one. But yeah, on Fire Island until I was, well, in the summer times I would go back. I would fly back. Even when I lived in Albuquerque, I used to fly back and spend my uh, part of my summer on Fire Island with a lady who was very wealthy and she paid me to ride a bicycle to the grocery store. Why do you need to be with me, Babette? Do you miss me? You can go outside. Don't feel like you have to be here. You can always watch this later if you don't, if, if you know. There's only so much sun and so much daylight. But I got to work, so. My phone keeps doing that because at that time it was a coupon. So I just get rid of them. Ah, okay. Uh, Babette, you said to say Patricia's name. It's Patricia... No, cube. <laughs> no, no. Bay <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> oh, boy, that's a difficult name to to say. Um, sounds like it's in click. Um, you know that that African language, click or something. <laughs> um, Huntington. Okay, Huntington on the island in Dundon, Florida, where the best beach in Florida is Honeymoon Island. Oh, okay. So I like the beaches. There's a, there's an island, um, Sanibel. Sanibel Island is connected to another island, uh, Sanibel and um, something something name has to do with privacy. You can look it up on a map. But Sanibel Island, you can find me there. Okay. If everything gets destroyed and I'm the only one left, I'm heading in that direction. That's where I want to live on Sanibel Island. I'm going to take over somebody's beach house because, <laughs> you know, if you've got to survive the end of the world, I mean, why not, you know, take over someone's beach house? Why live in, why live where it's hot? And, um, it is what? Hey, context. It is click. <laughs> context. Any context clues in your, in your sentences here? Okay, so after I get the bowl kind of, sh I'm gonna continue shaping it. So I don't think it's gonna, I'm, I'm thinking it's not gonna be this lumpy in the end, you know, just, but this is how it all starts. This is the process. So let's see. She did a video about how to say her last name. Okay. We should look at Patricia's video. She's so sweet. I had messages from her on my um, on my phone here, but I don't know what it said. Oh, yeah, she finally saw the video where we were talking about her, and now we're talking about her again. She's not on. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. Yeah. I'm scoring the top edge to make this slippery little snake stick to it. Oh, ooh. 
Mike took a barefoot hike and he's got to go take a shower. Okay, ladies, Mike's going to take a shower. There's some food for thought. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'll go sit in the corner. I'm probably in trouble for that. <laughs> okay, ladies. <laughs> oh, once I'm in trouble, I'm like, I'm already in trouble. Why stop now? <laughs> oh, that's how I am. Uh, now you know. So last night, I was on the uh, Mike uh, Horsford's. He had a live stream, and he's been working lately. That's why he hasn't been on live streams with us. And Babette was there, and they were all um, smoking stuff. And one of the other guys that was there last night chimed in, but then he said he had to leave. He was up there in the chat somewhere. And um, so they started talking about ghosts and stuff, and and uh, the man, the men in the cigarettes. Yeah, it was all these men smoking, and and uh, as I would call it, I don't call it smoking. I call that fogging up. Uh, just you know, it's a keyword. And one of them, the one from Boston, said that he saw a ghost. And everybody chime in on your thoughts on um, the supernatural and the existence of ghosts. Now you might say that you believe that ghosts exist and you saw them, but were you high at the time when you saw them? Or was your brain already completely trashed from smoking too many doobies? <laughs> the only person that I, I, well, one of the only people that I, who said, ever said to me that they saw a ghost uh, was a person who was uh, completely, completely, and thoroughly faked. So, so there. This looks just like the this hanging off the side of this just is driving me crazy. I like a nice, clean-looking edge in my. I'm I'm looking at the um, profile of it down on my computer screen while I do this. So yeah. So your your opinion on whether or not. There are supernatural beings that come, uh, you know, after you die, after they die, sometimes they get trapped on earth. Do you think these things exist? Do you believe in spirits? Is that something that you believe in? Well, I was making stupid jokes and some didn't even make any sense, but um, I am not a person who thinks that supernatural things are, um, you know, floating about. So that's why I was like, <laughs> I was like, he's like, you saw the blob. I saw a blob in the picture. He's like, you see that blob? See that blob? Does it look like a face to you? See, I didn't tell you it was a face, but you saw a face. Uh, I have seen them and I don't smoke. She doesn't smoke. I, I yeah, the, her text to speech thing messes up on the uh, computer there. So yeah, Babette said she doesn't smoke and she, has seen them. Okay, so let's hear a ghost experience of having seen ghosts. I have had other, I've had a friend say like, um, like the blanket on her bed just flew off and stuff like that. And I was like, okay. I've just never seen this stuff happen. When I was, when my son was little, he had this toy. <laughs> There's my creepy story. When my son was little, he had this dog. And it had, um, it was tan and had blue ears and had a computer device inside of it. And if you pressed, like squeeze the ear, it would say one thing. If you pushed on the heart, it would say, I love you. <laughs> and so one night, it was like, I don't know, two or three in the morning. And I'm hearing, I love you <laughs> from the living room. And I'm like, so I, my husband heard it too. And I said, I don't believe it goes. I don't believe it goes. I don't believe it goes. And I walked into the living room and I opened up the toy chest and there he was in the toy chest. I guess some toys had uh, he either was shorting out or some toys were pressing on him or he just does the thing that electronics do and they sometimes, you know, malfunction, whatever. Yeah. But anyway, I was like, that's the best you can do. You come over, you come over from another Whatever happens to dead people, they supposedly go somewhere. Okay. Can you give me the exact coordinates of where they're supposed to be when they go away somewhere? 
you know, heaven, hell, one of those. I need the coordinates. I need to, um, I need to figure out exactly where that place is. I don't believe in, uh, I don't believe in magical uh, stuff, and so I need a little more, I need more details. People get really angry when you ask for more details. You know why? Because they don't have the answers. If you don't have the answers, how do you, why do you buy into it? Like, I mean, I know the internet kind of works because I'm getting feedback from it, you know? Um, but, you know, other things, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, I'd sure like to hear some more uh, evidence. We should just do a whole ghost story show tries to convince me that they saw a ghost <laughs> it's like yeah I mean you probably there's no point in really trying to convince people of anything ever like imagine if you took took a Democrat and a Republican you know those people who really define themselves by I'm a Democrat I'm a Republican you put them in a room together and see if they can ever come on get on the same page about anything It'll either be a big surprise or it won't be a surprise at all because nothing will happen. Meaning it'll be a surprise in the dark. <laughs> um, I will follow you into the dark. Is that, was that tone deaf? <laughs> so yeah, I had my music playing earlier and uh, Oh crap, it's already 11.18. I'm getting off here in, in 15 minutes. Maximum live stream moment is uh, an hour for me. I think that's what we should say, you know? I'll be on for an hour and then I'm getting off. Yeah, if anybody had the answers to the big questions, I'd sure like to hear them. Um, I don't know, eternal sleep could include nightmares. I would say um, just nothingness. That's, that's what I would say it is. If you say to me, Julie, what do you think happens after you die? Nothingness. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just like how I felt before I was born. That's what I expect to feel when I die. I mean, I think living is great. And we should embrace it and enjoy it and then realize that then it's over and it's a different thing. You know, it's a, I don't know. I don't know. But that's fine. I'm okay with not knowing. I'm okay with saying, you know what? I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, the spirits of everything goes on. Why not? Who cares? If it does, if it doesn't, whatever. I'm not going to change what I do here. I'm going to keep being a, uh, a decent person. And um, I'm going to enjoy myself because you know why I'm a decent person? Because it's the best thing for me. When I'm good to my kid and um, <laughs> um, when, I'm, when, I'm a, when I'm a good to my kid, he's good back to me. It makes me happy and that makes life a great place to be. So um, if you're out there and you're, if you, you think you're going to convert me or something, save your breath. Oh, the ending in Men in Black? Ha! Um, no, I don't know exactly, but do they erase anyone's thoughts? I don't know. Well, you can tell me a lot, but um, make a video. Make a video about it. I'll watch your video. And mention me. Say we brought this up. But, you know, uh, I've had friends, and we've, we've actually gotten to a point where we had to say, listen, you're going to stop trying to convert me. And I'm going to stop telling you how to live. I have a friend who's very, very skinny to a point where she, she looks unhealthy. And she got really tired of me telling her that she needs to eat. She needs to put on weight. She needs to put on muscle. And, um, you know, she looks unhealthy. And, and I got tired of her uh, asking me to go to her church and stuff. And I said, listen, I'll stop. I'll stop bugging you if you stop bugging me. So we had we came to a you know a certain kind of peace about it. 
still great friends, but you know, she tells me to read her book. I tell her to read my book. Does she do it? No, but I tried to read her book. Where the whole universe was nothing more than a marble in an alien boy's pocket? Ah! No, but I love that idea. <laughs> well, yeah, because you know, when you think, I take these pictures like on the macro scale, which is just a slightly smaller scale than we're living in. But then you think about the universe and the scale of the universe, like, we could be a piece of dust in a cotton ball in somebody else's universe. I mean, that could be us. Which video did you have bees in, Babette? Um, sometimes I leave in the middle of videos, so you never know. You know, when you got to go, you got to go. So happens to everybody. So if it was a video I watched, well, I might have missed that, but I, I don't know what bees you're talking about. Uh, okay, so I've got kind of the bowl started here. I'm not sure how big. I think I want to go about yay tall, which would be about the distance from the bottom of my hand to here. That's how tall of a bowl I want to get um, in the bowl part. And then I think I want to put little legs on it. Because I think that would be really fun, and not like not like human legs, but just like kind of um, V-shaped legs for it to stand on. That way, I'll be able to glaze the whole bottom, and just it'll still be on the legs, and I can I keep the bottom of those feet unglazed. It would be cuteness. Um, I'm not going to do any of the glazing quite yet. Um, obviously. First it has to go to the bisque fire, then it has to go to the uh, glaze fire. But first, you have to build the whole thing and dry it out like super, like you have to dry it for almost a week before you glaze it. Oh, 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 the skull is in the kiln right now. Okay, I hope he comes out perfect. Because that skull was way more work than I thought it was going to be. I don't remember that video, but that... I'm like, I've been terrible about watching videos. I like tune in for a few minutes and if I, you know, and then I move on to something else. I have an attention span of a flea. I bet you knew that. So anyway, okay. Um, I'm gonna go now, okay? So say bye, say bye, Julie. I'm just gonna cover this up and work on this a little later because I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. And I got to listen to, no, I don't want to make them strawberry legs, but thank you for your suggestion. <laughs> that's a funny idea, but um, I, that's, I, the shape of the bowl, I decided, like I thought about making the whole shape of the bowl, like the bottom of a strawberry, but I didn't want to do that either. So um, I, I kind of, I, I really just want an, um, not a completely organic shape, more of a, Balanced shape and the little pointy legs. I have a vision in my mind of where I want to go with this. And oh, do you remember that? Don't tell me what to do. We got some PMS, and I was yelling at everybody not to tell me what to do. I'm saying that on the inside right now. Don't tell me what to do. How many hours does who need? What are we talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. The skull in the kiln, um, it's, uh, by the time I go to bed tonight, probably around 11, the kiln will already have been off for an hour or so. And then um, I will unplug the kiln just in case it decides to go crazy and be an alien and turn itself back on again or something and burn my house down. So then, uh, when, by the time I wake up in the morning, the kiln will still be hot, but I can probably crack it open a little and let some air flow, just a little bit of air crack in there. And by noon tomorrow, I should have the ability to look at my skull, like take it out and actually look at it. But you have to let, 
the kiln cool to almost room temperature on its own without disturbing it. And so that takes a solid, well, more than 24 hours when you do the cone six firing. This is cone five this time. But yeah, I mean, it's like 24 hours. And that's all folks. Thanks for hanging out. And I'm gonna take a break now and, and chill. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow or I don't know. I don't know when I'm, I, my schedule's gonna be weird this summer. I just have to find times when I can be alone. Bye.